Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I find teacher. Excellent, very good. Welcome to the class. Antonio, right? Yes, Antonio. Thank you, teacher. Excellent, very good. Where do you live, Antonio? I'm from Zacatecoluca. Ah, very good. Excellent, very good, very good. Okay, so welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you. And where are your classmates? Oh my goodness, you are the only one tonight. Yes, they almost are, are missing. <laughs> yeah, but thank you so much for being on time. I'm going to give only one minute to the rest of your classmates. I hope that they can connect soon. And okay. we are going to start. Yes. How long have you studied English, Antonio? Mm, I don't know, but maybe around two, two years. Two years. Oh. Sounds good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Easy or difficult? Uh, it's, for me, it's a very difficult. What do you think or what do you feel is it the most difficult part of studying English? Grammar or speaking or listening or reading, writing? What do you think? In my case, I, I think it's a grammatical and speaking. All right. Okay. Yes. yes for me, it's a little difficult to express my my speaking English. Oh, like expressing your ideas. Yes, it's a little difficult. Yeah, right. I can imagine. But no worries. Uh, during this class, we are going to try to practice a lot. So you can improve your speaking. Very okay, good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class, the one who has joined us. I can see Gabriel and I can see Hector. Hello, guys. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm Good fine. Evening. Where are you from? Hector? I'm from I'm from El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and the city? It's close to the San Salvador city. It's um, uh, south of of the capital in Santiago, Texacuangos. Ah, very nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the weather like in that place? It's, Sometimes it's, it's very fresh, right? No, no, it... normally no. No, it's, really? It's, no, no, no. It, now it's very, very um, hot. Hot? Yeah, really? Yeah, uh, okay. It's, it's, it's hard. Uh, yes i can see you now very good thank you <laughs> okay uh, all right is it... uh huh okay okay no 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 it's good it's good to start again the class english class yes in, in the... i i i uh... i ah, I'm happy to start. That's class. good. That's the attitude. And I'm happy to see you here. I'm happy, guys, that you are continuing with your studies. Thank you so much for being on time, everyone. Thank you so much for the one who has the camera on. My name is Clarissa. I will be your teacher here in this class. And I don't know exactly how many people will be in the class, but I want to motivate you guys since the very first day to continue with the class. And please remember attendance is very, very important. So if you have any question, tell me. If there is a topic that you don't understand, please always tell me, okay? I don't have problems to explain again 
So I'm very patient, no worries. So every time that you don't understand a topic, please let me know so I can explain again, or we can have extra practice, or I can try to give you more examples, okay? If you feel like teacher, I don't know how to say this word. Remember that we are in intermediate level. So the idea is to omit Spanish, but don't be afraid to participate. If you don't find the words, try and I will help you. Okay, so I know that sometimes it's, I forgot the word and you want to say it in Spanish. I totally understand. Okay, I will try to help you. So don't be afraid to participate. Okay, now we're going to start. I'm going to share the presentation. Let's see. Oh, you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. So we are in intermediate level number three. So today is March 20th and basically uh, this is the first class. Just a little bit about me. I graduated from a uh, interpretation of English, right, in La Universidad Evangelica del Salvador. So I'm from El Salvador like you. Um, I've been working in, as a teacher for around five years already. So I've been working in different places, but I have like five years working as INSAFOR teacher. So I already got a little experience, but I'm always learning, guys. I'm always trying to learn uh, new techniques to teach a better uh, English and to provide a better class. So that's just a little bit about me. Also, I love drinking coffee. <laughs> Do you like coffee, everyone? Yes, yes. I like yes. coffee. Yes, ah, I love coffee. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I totally love coffee. I live in La Paz and here is totally hot. I don't know in your cities, but here is totally hot. <laughs> Um, no, what El Salvador. In El Salvador. <laughs> yes. Except, except in Chalatenango, right? Because in Chalatenango yeah. is, is, is anyone from Chalatenango here? No? Santa Ana, no. maybe? No. No? Me. Oh, who, who say me? Christian. Christian. I'm from Santa Ana. Okay. So, what is the weather in Santa Ana? Mm, a little hot. Really? Yes. Okay. I thought that in, in Santa Ana was like colder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. What else? A little bit about me. I, I have a dog and I have a cat. Do you have pets, everyone? Pets? No. No, no I don't have pets. Yes, I have. Ah. I, I have two dogs. Dogs, okay. Anyone else? I have two dogs, two cats, and a little parrot. Oh my gosh, five. <laughs> That's awesome. That's two. <laughs> okay. I have a zoo in my, in my house. Aha, uh -huh, very a good. A lot of bees. Mm, all right. And let's see, let's see what else. I'm married. Are you married, everyone? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And what else? I don't have kids. How about you, everyone? Do you have kids? I yes, have I have two kids, two boys. Two? Wow, very good. How old are they? Five years and one and a half years. Oh my gosh. Is that difficult? Yes, it's very hard. <laughs> I imagine that. Yeah. All right. Who else? Everyone, do you have kids? Yes, I have. Four. Okay. Yes, I have two. Okay. Uh, Hector first and then the other. Hector, how old are your kids? I have four. Four kids. How three, old are them? Three ladies. Three ladies. Young ladies. And uh -huh. one man. 
my oh. boy. Okay. My boy is a, is a little, 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 little boy. <clears throat> okay, nice. Uh, 11, 11 year old. He is the youngest? He's the youngest. Ah, okay, very good. Yes. Okay, thanks. Who else? I, I heard someone else. Who else? Yes, I have. Okay, Antonio, tell me. Yes, I, I have one son. How old is but he? he? He is nine, nine years old. Nine years old. All right, very good, very good. Okay, everyone, anyone else? Do you have kids? Anyone else? I have two, no, three. Three, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, let me check. Let, yeah. me, let me try to remember. <laughs> okay, um, Magdaleno, are they girls or boys? One girls and two boys. Okay, very good. Very let me good. see, let me let see, me, let me see. Let me, let me see, let me try to remember. <laughs> Magdaleno, be careful. Okay, very okay. good. <laughs> Okay, everyone, it's, it's nice to know a little bit about you. And I have a question for you now. Um, how long have you studied English? I know that we are in the intermediate level. So tell me, how long have you studied English? Mm -hmm. One year, two years, I don't know. How long have you sure. studied English? Yes. In, in some form, uh, past or in, in general. In general. Yes. In my, in my case, uh, with in some form, I have a uh, one year study English. Okay. And 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 take uh, class, but never, never end. I never, never uh, can end the the, the class. Because wow. the time, because oh. uh, I'm tired, because a lot, a lot of, como se dicen excusas? <laughs> excuses. A lot of excuses. <laughs> excuses. Ah. ah, a but, lot of excuses. In mm -hmm. uh, no. study English uh, in, 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 the, in my in the school. Ah, okay. Sounds good. But Hector, you will finish this level, right? Because now no more excuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I wish, I wish, and uh, you will, you will. Okay, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Who else? How long have you studied English, everyone? I think that all life we have studied English because when you go to a school, uh, but serious for me, in my case, serious, uh, I have two years, I think so, two years. All right. But uh, but I'm not a regular. I am I'm irregular because uh, it's the same case that Hector. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuses. For, for a job. <laughs> no excuse. That is for a job, for my kids. Uh, yeah. Excuse. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's very, no, I understand. It's difficult, everyone. Yeah, I know you have a job, you have your family. I totally understand. But no, don't give up. Okay, we had to finish. Okay, anyone else? How long have you studied English? Who else? Let's participate, everyone. English, right? Explain to me. Aha, uh -huh, Magdaleno, how long? I have a lot of time, actually, because uh -huh. I, I start to study English when I was a teenager. Mm, okay. Yeah. I remember that my first song was painting black from <laughs> you know, the Rolling Stone. Ah, okay. All right. And then, and then I I have uh, I have walked step by step okay. and I'm here. Here you are. That's great. That's great. Okay, I was listening to Christian too. Christian, how long have you studied English? Uh, right now I have the last model here mm -hmm. in Sephora, but I learned English about 10 years ago, but I didn't practice for that 10 years. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. So you need to in, refresh. In, 
Yes, I am refreshing my the vocabulary and the pronunciation. All right, mm -hmm. okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, so I know that everybody has like different uh, time, right? But remember that we are a team, so we have to help each other, okay? If you feel that your classmate didn't answer correctly, so try to help them. Okay, that's the idea. So, um, talking about this level, remember the ones who have been with INSA4 before, you already know that there are some rules that you have to keep in mind, okay? First of all, let's talk about the homework and the evaluations. So, we have a platform, okay? Um, did everybody access to the platform already? Yes? Yes. ¿Ya todos ingresaron a la plataforma? No, no, no yet. No yet. Ok, ¿ya todos saben cómo ingresar a la plataforma? Right. Yes. Yes. Ok. Now, when you are in the platform, remember, it's necessary to get the 80% at least, like the minimum. Ok. In the homeworks and also in the exams. So if in the homeworks, for example, in the week number one, you got 60%, mm, that is not enough. You need to do the exercise again so you can get at least the 80%. The idea, of course, is that you get 100%, right? That's the best, but minimum 80%. The same with the exams. Okay, so please try to uh, do the homeworks and try to pay attention when you do that. Also remember uh, all the homeworks are on the platform, okay? So you can do the exercises after each class or during the day, but do it, please. I don't like to give you like extra homeworks because I know that you have the platform. Okay, so please work on it. Now, remember, and this is very important, all the homeworks, uh, for example, the week number one, all the homeworks from the week number one has to be ready uh, before uh, Fridays, right? At midnight. Because on Fridays at midnight, I have to upgrade your grades. I have to send a report with your grades. So try to complete your homeworks every Friday before midnight, please, okay? And uh, uh, well, remember, uh, well, we are going to meet this. Um, the manual, remember, is on the platform too, okay? So, if you want to download the manual, you can do it. You can check the information there. Do you have any questions about the homeworks and evaluations? Everyone? No. No, no question? Is it clear? No questions. It's a clear. Excellent. Okay. Now, important too, just remember everyone here on Zoom, I need you to come to put your full names, okay? Exactly as in your Dewey. So if you put, for example, only Clarissa, no. If you put, for example, Clarissa Rivera, no. I need the full name, exactly as in your Dewey, okay? And in the case that I know that some days you have some emergencies, right? And you say, teacher, I cannot participate in the class. I will be listener. Okay, so you put your name and in parentheses, you write the word listener or oyente, okay? Just be careful because remember that this option is just in case of emergency, all right? Um, queda un registro cada día de su attendance, de cuántos minutos se conectaron. So 
también de cuántas veces fueron oyentes. Si los de Insafor revisan la asistencia y ven que una persona aparece como oyente eh, casi que a diario, posiblemente les llamen la atención. ¿Ok? Así que oyente is when it is totally necessary. ¿Ok? And no olviden revisar su nombre todos los días. Imagínense que hoy estuvieron como oyentes y mañana ya no van a ser oyentes. Asegúrense que en su nombre ya no diga la palabra oyente. ¿Ok? Be careful. And this is very important. Camera on. And look at this, during the full class. I know that sometimes you are tired and you are like, I teacher, I am on my bed. I don't want to turn on the camera, but it's a rule, everyone. Because again, the class is being recorded. So in Sephor can check every single class. If you have the camera on, is the proof that you are here in the class, all right? So it's necessary to have the camera on so I can see you, I can see that you are paying attention, that you are participating, okay? The only scenario where I will accept, accept that you don't have the camera on is if you are a listener, or maybe you are in the middle of the traffic because sometimes you can say, teacher, I am on the bus and it could be dangerous if you have the, the cell phone on your hands, right? So those are the scenarios that I can say, mm, okay, no problem. But at the contrary, please try to keep the camera on during the full class. And be careful with the background. Okay, if there is a lot of noise in your background, try to mute the microphones. And participation, please. The best way to learn English is if you participate. Any questions about these rules, everyone? Questions? No? No, teacher. Okay. Now, trust, uh, I know that this is something that you already know. The attendance has to be 100% of the classes. Don't miss any class. Try to be on time because remember the idea is to get 120 minutes each class. So for example, today, algunos entraron algo tarde, ya algunos entraron cuando ya habían pasado cinco minutos. So ¿Qué significa? Que ya no lograron cumplir los 120 minutos del día de hoy. Así que, please, tratemos siempre de estar a tiempo. Ok, y asegurémonos de conectarnos las dos horas, no una hora y media, no una hora, mm -mm. 120 minutos, please. Um, I'm going to check attendance twice in the class, at the beginning and almost at the end. And in the both uh, checking attendance, I need you to say present, ok. I want to see that the person says present. If you don't say present, I'm not going to give you the attendance, okay? If I don't see the camera, it's like, I don't know if you are there, okay? And at the end of each class, I'm going to choose one student and that person has to stay only 10 more minutes, okay? This is just like a meeting una personal meeting. Así que al final de la clase siempre se va a quedar uno de ustedes. Yo voy a ir de, eh, avisando quién es la persona que se va a quedar. Y se va a quedar en una sesión privada unos 10 minutos máximo. Va a ser bien corto, no se preocupen. So, is it clear? Do you have any questions, everyone? Questions? No. Questions? Ok. No, no. Sí. Ahorita estoy viendo sus nombres y veo que algunos solo tienen un nombre y un apellido, así que please change it. Si no saben cómo hacerlo, I can explain. But remember, I need full names. Full names. Así como les aparece en el DUI, please. Así es como tienen que colocar su nombre. 
Mientras arreglan su nombre, I'm going to check attendance, okay, the first time. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's see. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego. Oh, Abrego. Present. Thank you. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Yasmin Martinez. Erika Yasmin. Okay. Fátima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. All right. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Gabriel Beltrán. Okay. Héctor Francisco Morales. Present teacher. All right. Isabel Hernández. Present, Miss. Thank you. Ivan Pe uh, Petrovic Guzmán. Present, teacher. Okay. Jamie Raquel Escobar. Jamie Raquel Escobar. Sorry, teacher. Eh, soy Gabriel. Eh, presente. Estaba tomándome la medicina. Ah, ok. Thank you, Gabriel. No problem. Ok. Eh, let's see, let's see. Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Ok, thank you. Lucy Natalie Juárez. Present. Ok. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Antonio. Present. Thank you. Oscar Armando Romero. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, let's see, Rosalina Alvarado. <coughs> Ok, Rosa. Ok. Selvin Adonai Molina. Sí. Yes, Oscar. Ok, Oscar, se le escucha cortado, pero no se preocupe que ya le puse asistencia. Ok, no worries. Ok, Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Ok, Present. very good. ¿Alguien, ¿Hay alguien a quien no mencionara, everyone? Eh, hola. Yes. Hola, soy Jamie. He tenido problemas de conexión. No sé si ya me mencionó, teacher. Eh, let's see. Jamie Raquel Escobar. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ya, ahorita. Very good. Thank you. ¿Alguien más, everyone? ¿Alguien a quien no mencionara? ¿No? ¿Todos están? Yes. Okay, very good. Well, let's start. I'm going to share the presentation again. Remember, I'm going to check attendance in the last part of the class. So, today is the week number one, unit number one. So, this is the topic for today class. Product life cycle. Okay, and we are going to check some vocabulary. That is the topic that we are going to study today. And basically, this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading the class objective, please. Could I try? Yes, please. Let's look class object, uh, objective. At the end of the class, participants will be able to describe details about the stage. Uh, what do you pronounce that? Stages. Stages. About the stages of the product life cycle. Thank you. So that is what we are going to talk about today. But before checking the vocabulary about the product life cycle, we are going to have a quick grammar review just to see if you remember one of the grammar tenses that you studied in the previous level. What was the grammar tense that you studied in the previous level? Do you remember? 
Ajá. Ya se les olvidó. My goodness. Uh, hi. Ajá. Uh, I remember the present perfect. Very good. Excellent. Exactly. That is the ones that we are going to review. So the present perfect. What is the structure of the present perfect? Do you remember? Uh, sub subject. Uh -huh. uh, verb have. Mm -hmm. And verb in, in participle form. Participle. Past participle. Past past participle. That's correct. Very good job. And if I want to say the sentence in negative, what do I need to do? Um. Uh -huh, everybody, do you remember? We have to use the, the uh, auxiliary verb in the negative form. Mm, very good. For example, can you give me an example, everyone? Present perfect in negative. Um, for example, I haven't worked uh, this week. Very good. That's the good one. So exactly, everyone. That is the correct structure. In affirmative, exactly as your classmate said, you need the subject, the auxiliary, in this case is have or has, if it is third person. And then I need the verb in past participle. If you want to say it in negative, the only things that you need to do is to add the word not. For example, I haven't eaten or I haven't worked. Perfect. Any question about the structure, everyone, of the present perfect? If no, you don't remember the topic, tell me. No questions? Hmm. Okay. Do you remember the structure for the yes, no question? What do I need to do? In, in, I remember that with to be. Are you, for example, are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Um, okay, but um, in the in the present perfect, always. How can I create just no questions using the present perfect? Number. What do I need first? Uh, verb have. Uh huh. Uh, the then the subject. Yes. Uh, and the, the complement. Do I need a verb in the verb uh, in past participle? Yes. Yes, that's correct. No, so verb, for ex uh, uh huh. Look, I have the verb have or has if it is third person. Again, I need the subject, and then I need the verb in past participle. Have you eaten, for example? Imagine if I ask you, everybody, have you eaten dinner? What will be the answer? Yes or no? Yes, I have. Yes, I ah, have. Ah, very good. Yes, so, I yes, I have. If the answer is no? No, I have. I have. Very good. Everybody, have you taken a shower today? Yes, I shower. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, yes I, have. I, have. I have. Um, have you? Let's see. Let's see. Have you watched TV today? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Very good. So that's the way that we can create the questions in the present perfect. Questions, everyone. 
or is it clear? Hmm. Clear for oh. me. Clear? Remember, this is a review, but if you have questions or is it, if it is not clear, or if you don't remember, tell me everyone. The idea of the review is that you can remember the structure. Now, if you want to talk in the present perfect, you need to memorize the verbs in the past participle. So we are going to have a game. We are going to play in teams. I'm going to show you some numbers. You have to choose a number and you have to tell me the past and the past participle form of the verbs. If your answers are correct, you will get a point, okay? We are going to do it, let me see. I have a lot of girls, I have a lot of boys. Let's do it girls versus boys, okay? So everyone, you have to choose a number and tell me the past form and the past participle form of each verb. You will have only 20 seconds to answer. If you don't answer, no points, okay? So who wants to start, girls or boys? Who wants to start? Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies first. Uh, Ladies first. first. <laughs> gentlemen, right? Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. gentlemen. Ah. <laughs> okay. Only the girls. Remember, every girl can answer. Okay. So, girls, give me a number. Six. Six. Okay. Tell me the past and the past participle form. Mm, heart, the heart, heart. Uh huh. Heart. 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 It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. Very, very same. good. Yes. Very good, girls. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Eight. Eight. Okay. <clears throat> uh huh. Make it. Made. Made. Oh, excuse made. me. Made. Made. Okay. Made, made. and made. Made. Yes, that's the one. That's the one. Very good. Very good. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Fourteen. 14, okay. Take, took, taking. Took and taken. Yes. Taken. Oh taken. my gosh. <laughs> good job. Very good. Very good. Boys, it's your turn. Boys, give me a number. Three. Three. Okay. Woke up. Okay, in past, it's? Walk. Walk. And in past participle? Walking. Walking. Are you sure? Uh, yes. And yes, very good. All wow. right, super good job. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Girls, give me a number. 13. 13. Okay. Blue, blue. I think it's blue. Blue, blue. No. Okay. blue and blue. Blue and, and blue. Blown. 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 Yes, blue and brown. I know that this is a difficult verb. So if you don't remember, yes. <laughs> write it down, write it down. Very good job, very good job. Okay, boys, give me a number. Come on, boys. Seven. 
seven. Okay. Writing. Rod. Rod and. Reading. Rod and writing. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number 11. Two. Okay, 11. Hi, 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 Hide, hide, hide. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, no. <laughs> are you sure? Hi, 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 then. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh -oh. This is this change. Hide, hid, hidden. Okay, so oh, this hid. one changed. Yeah, the pronunciation yes. is hid. Okay. Oh, exactly. So, sorry, but I cannot give you the point. <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Five. Five, okay. Ooh, an easy one. Go ahead. It ate eating. <laughs> okay, very good. I feel that the girls has the most difficult ones. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, girls, give me a number. One. Number one. Okay. Say it and solve. Say, said, and so. Say, said, and so. Uh-huh. Say, with D, and so. Uh-huh. Are mm -hmm. you sure? Say, yes. said, so. Yeah. It's kind of the same. Yeah. <laughs> mm, oh, my God. Oh, no, it's the same. Say, say, say. Girls, <laughs> what happened? Come on. <laughs> okay, yeah. It said, and said so same. basically the they same. are just the same yeah i'm sorry no no worries <laughs> como como defender lo indefendible oh my no we're we are learning <laughs> that's the attitude okay boys it's your turn go ahead boys ten ten okay Ride, road, riding. Ride, road, riding. Are you sure? Riding. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Very good job. Okay, girls, don't give up. Go ahead. Give me a number. Which one? Which one? Girls, come on. Number four. Four, okay, <laughs> yes, why not? Oh, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. Sit, it's the same. I, uh, I remember, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Every me. girl, the rest of you, what do you I think? I remember girls? it's sit, sat, sit, and sat. Sit, oh, yeah. sat, sat, and the past participle? Sat. sat. Sit, sat, sat. Yes. No, sit. Sit. Yes. Yes. Sat, sat, sat. <laughs> good Very <job>. good. <laughs> exactly. Sit, sat, sat, sat. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Go ahead. Come on, boys, everybody, let's participate. 16, teacher. Okay, 16. Wing wong wong. Wong wong. One wand. Very good. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, we are about to finish. Girls, give me a number. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. It sounds like it's spent with a T at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Spent, spent. Both spent, spent, spent. Spent. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. Very good job. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, boys. Give me a number. 
Nine. Nine. Okay. Ooh, an easy one. <laughs> did, did. 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 Don't. Yes. Don't. 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 Did. Did. <laughs> okay. Did, did and. Did. Don't. That's the one. Did and done. Be careful. Be careful. Very good job. Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. Two or 15. Uh huh. Girls. Two or 15. Which one? Which one? Oh my gosh, girls, are you there? Number two. Uh -huh. Number two. Yeah. Okay. Here, hair, there. And I think hair. Hair, yeah. Okay. Hair, hair. Yes, hair. actually, that's the one. Very good job. Okay, boys, this is the last one for you. Think. Think. Thought, Think. thought. Thought and thought. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Thought. And yes, definitely. All right. <laughs> the boys are the winners. Congratulations, boys. Very good job. Okay, listen. The idea, everyone, is to memorize the verbs. Okay, if we don't know the verbs in the past participle, we are not going to talk in the present perfect. If you want to talk in the present perfect, you need to memorize the verbs. Is it clear? Yes? yes. Good. Any question? Or is it clear? Clear, Okay, very good. Now let's move on. Let's complete an exercise. I want you to complete this exercise. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, look at the picture. I have here a man, his name is Paul. And the first picture is Paul when he was younger. And the second picture is Paul but when he is already an adult. Can you see a difference when he was younger and now that he is adult? Mm -hmm. Yes, can you see a difference? Yes. Yeah, right, we can see some differences. So now the question is, what has happened to him. Let's complete the six sentences using the present perfect and the correct form of the verbs. So you have to decide what verb is in the correct sentence. For example, in the number one, his lifestyle, da 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 da, a lot. What do you think? What is the best way or the best verb to complete this sentence? Change. 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 Okay. Change. Give me the full sentence in the present perfect. His lifestyle has changed a lot. All right. That's the correct one. Very good job. How about the number two? It says he ta -da 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 -da, running completely. Hmm. Stop. He is stop. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. Everyone, do you agree? He has stopped. He has stopped. Running completely. Hmm. Okay. Analyze the sentences, please. You can complete the sentences in your notebook. I will give you a couple of minutes and then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. Complete the sentences. If there is a word that you don't know the meaning or if there is a verb that you don't know exactly what the meaning is, tell me and I will help you, okay? Complete the exercise, please.
Here, excuse me. What what means the first of verb put on? Put on. Okay, put on everyone is a phrase that normally we use it with weight, like peso. If you put put on, that means like ganar peso or engordar. That is the meaning of put on. Okay. Okay. Yes. Teacher, I'm sorry, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, this is my first class, my first level, so I don't know how it works. I don't know if I need something to show you through the camera or like oh. we'll send you a photo or how it works. I, I don't know. I don't have nothing now. Okay, so. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, relax. Um, well, first of all, welcome, <laughs> okay? Uh, and yes, the camera is necessary, okay? So siempre hay que tener como la camarita activada. And in this case, everyone, cuando hagamos ejercicios, for example, in this case, ustedes los completan en su cuaderno. No les voy a decir, ah, mándenme una captura para ver si de verdad hicieron el ejercicio. No, really. Lo que voy a hacer es ir preguntando aleatoriamente, right? Y vamos a completar el ejercicio en la clase. De vez en cuando sí les voy a decir, hagan este ejercicio y mándenme una captura de pantalla o envíenmela en WhatsApp para verificar que sí lo hayan hecho o que lo hayan hecho correctamente. ¿Ok? Erika, ¿clear? Yes. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. And everybody, cualquier duda que tengan, ya sea en la clase, de los procedimientos o de la plataforma, siempre díganme. No hay ningún problema. Cuando tengan una question, solo tell me, teacher, I have a question and do it. Yo estoy aquí para ayudarles sobre cualquier tema que sea relacionado sobre el programa. Ok, así que don't worry. Teacher, I have question with pronunciation for the, the word. Which one? Lazy is correct. Lazy, yes. Lazy. 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 Yes. Lazy. And enthusi enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And the last one is mustache. That's correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Aha, uh -huh, everybody. Did you finish the sentences or not yet? Not yet, teacher. One moment. Okay. Remember, everybody, join to WhatsApp's group. ¿Alguien no se ha unido al grupo de WhatsApp? No? ¿Ya todos se unieron al grupo de WhatsApp? Yes? Okay. Yes. Si hay alguien que no se ha unido al grupo de WhatsApp, please tell me. Si no tienen el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp, tell me. Yo se los puedo compartir aquí en el chat. La idea es que todos estén en el grupo, please. Sorry, Miss. I not I not hear when you say the different and put on and loss. I think so. Huh? Oh, okay. Put on. Basically, everyone es como cuando ustedes ponen algo en ustedes mismos. For example, eh, si hablamos de peso, es decir, de un par de libras de más. Si yo digo put on weight, significa que he engordado. That is the mm, meaning of okay. put on. Podemos usarlo con ropa. For example, I can say put on clothes, right? Me pongo ropa. Or put on shoes, all right? That is the meaning okay. of put on. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you have questions, everyone, please that let bear, me know. Teacher, that bear put on, it's kind of get, getting, get on. Yeah. Or... 
in some scenarios, in some scenarios, always that you use the preposition on. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone, you ready? Ready. Yes, everyone? Okay, yes. I have one, yes? Yes. yes. Okay, I will be um, asking randomly, okay? And I want to listen to the sentences. Let me ask. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let me ask to Hector. Hector Francisco, can you tell me the sentence number two, please? Yes, teacher. Sorry, I get some water. <laughs> uh, he has to stop reading completely. All right. Do you agree, everybody? He has stopped running completely. Very good. Yeah. If you copied exactly like that, so you have a correct answer. Very good. Okay, Hector, can you choose one of your classmates, please? Pick someone. Mm, uh, Ivan? Thank you. Hello, Ivan. <laughs> can you tell me the answer of the number Thank three? Thank you, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, number three. <laughs> number three, he put it on some weight. Okay. He has. He has. Okay. He has he has put it on weight. Some, Some weight. weight. That's Some correct. Weight. Excellent. So remember that the verb put is just the same in past and in past participle, right? So he has put on some weight. What is the meaning of this? Que la engordado. That is the meaning of put on some weight. Okay, Ivan, pick someone, please. Okay, let me see. Na, 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 na. Ta -ta. Fatima, help me. Thank you. Okay, Fatima, can you tell me the number four? He, he has put on lazy and unfit. Lazy and lazy. unfit. Hmm. So she says, he has put on lazy and unfit. Do you agree, everyone? Or do you have another idea? I, no. I disagree. Okay, I Christian, agree. which one do you have? He has became lazy and unfit. So he has became. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm, okay. Become? Look at this. Actually, it's become. Became because? is in simple past. The past become. participle is become. Okay. Ah, okay. So, mm -hmm. so everyone, if you have written this one, is correct. He has become uh -huh. lazy said, have and an unfit. Uh -huh. Having a question. Yes, go ahead. In the in the first sentence, uh, unfit uh, meaning. What's meaning unfit? Okay, everyone, do you know what is the meaning of unfit? It's the opposite that fit. Basically, <laughs> that person, it's, that it's person a... is very, is, is lazy, it's not athletic person. <laughs> exactly. Is... Remember that fit is a person who exercises a lot, who has a very healthy condition. Unfit is the opposite. It's a person who doesn't work out doesn't have a healthy condition that's the meaning on unfit okay, okay. so thank you everyone are you fit or unfit <laughs> i am fit <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right very good very good i like that you are very honest i am kind of unfit too anyway <laughs> okay let's see T -t 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 fatima pick someone please um pamela thank you pamela can you give me the answer on the number five number five is he has lost 
his enthusiasm for running. All right, very good. So everyone, if you wrote it like this, that's correct. Very good. He has lost. Okay, Pamela, can you pick someone, please? Um, Jamie. Jamie. Okay, Jamie, can you give me the answer of the number six? He has. Mm, growing a mustache. Okay. What is the past participle of grow? I'm not sure. <laughs> Everybody, help her. Grown. Yeah. Groaned. Um, That's the one. Groaned. So if you have this answer, it's correct. Very good job. So everybody, tell me how many correct answers did you have? Five, four, three, two, one. Don't tell me zero, please. Uh huh. How many four. correct <laughs> answers? Four. Okay, very good. And the rest of you? Four. Four, cool. I lost Six. two, teacher. You lost two, okay. <laughs> lost uh, another. Okay. Two. Good, listen, the idea guys, and this is what I want. I want you to try, okay? I'm not asking for perfection right now. I just want you to try, okay? So if you try, you learned. If you don't even try, you will never learn, okay? Now, we are talking about how people has changed. So let me ask you, how has your life changed since COVID-19? Tell me sentences using I have or I haven't. For example, since COVID-19, I had worked from home. <laughs> so I don't have to go to the office anymore. <laughs> so I have worked from home. Any negative is, well, since COVID-19, I haven't gone to the office. <laughs> so that is in my case. How about you, everyone? Can you tell me how your life has changed since COVID-19? You can tell me in affirmative or negative. Volunteers, please. I don't know she, the chair, if it's correct to say, uh, I have never had home office. I have never had home, yeah. Or you can say, I have never done home office. Okay. Mm -hmm, so I right. have never done home office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. It's pretty nice, actually. <laughs> What else? Anyone else? Can you tell me some changes that you have had since COVID-19? Have your uh, life has changed? Uh huh. I have used masks. <laughs> okay, used a face difficult. mask. <laughs> Definitely, exactly. Very good example. So in that case, it's better if we use the verb where. So. I have, do you remember what is the past participle of, of this verb, everyone? Where, what is the past participle of where? Were. 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 Okay, were is in past. Past participle? Warm. Worn, yes. So we will say, I have worn mask, definitely, or face mask. Okay, what else? Another change? I have a students study. Studied? Studied, I have a study thing online. I have studied online, definitely. Very good example. What else? Another one, everyone? You can tell me negative too, affirmative or negative. Another change. 
Uh -huh. What else? Excuse me. Yes? Excuse me, teacher. Este, I haven't. Uh -huh. I haven't. Este, the first past participle is the same, study. Yes. So I haven't studied. I studied online. Okay. Yeah. Ah, no, no. No, but that is in negative. Okay. Uh -huh. For score. example, at the school, for example, or face to face class. Uh -huh. In the in the present class. Uh huh. Class if you is want a... presenciales, if you want to say like classes presenciales, you can say face to face classes. Ah, face to face mm -hmm. classes. Ah. Face to face <laughs> classes. Very okay, good. You. So if you see everyone, you are using the present perfect rules. Remember, you need have, after have, you always need the verb in past participle. Don't forget that. That is truly important. Any question, everybody, about how we can use the uh, present perfect? Uh huh. No questions? Are you sure? I don't have. Okay. Huh. No okay. If you don't have questions, everybody, I do. I have some questions for you, and we are going to have some speaking practice. Okay. I have these questions and we are going to ask and answer these questions in groups. We will go to the breaking rooms and I want you to interview your classmates. For example, imagine that you are in group of three. And for example, Christian says, uh, where have you traveled? Everybody in the group has to answer. Ah, I have traveled to Guatemala. Ah, I have traveled to La Unión. Okay. Then another member of the group, for example, um, I have Pamela. Pamela say, okay, everybody, how long have you studied English? Everybody in the group answer the question. Ah, I have studied for two years. Ah, I have studied uh, since December. I don't know. So everybody answer. Is it clear the activity? ¿Se entiende qué es lo que van a hacer? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Now, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to send these questions on WhatsApp's group so everybody can have it. We will go to the breaking rooms. So please everybody enter to the breaking rooms. It's not necessary to share the screen. Si estando en el grupo ustedes quieren compartir pantalla, I mean you can do it, but it's not necessary because the idea is to have active listening and try to understand what your classmate is asking. Okay, so let's go to the breaking rooms. Si alguien de repente está solo en el room porque no se unió su compañero, let me know y yo lo voy a mover a otro grupo. Okay, so the idea is to everybody participate, everybody speak, and no Spanish during the practice. If your classmate don't remember, uh, doesn't remember the verb in past participle, help him. Okay, estamos somos un equipo, así que hay que ayudarnos each other. So everybody, let's go to practice. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so we want to hear just two or three. Okay. Oh. 
Hello. Do you want? Hi. Hi. Hi, Fatima and Erika. Uh, Hello, Fatima. Who? 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 Uh, I'm star number one. Erika, where have you traveled? I have traveled to Santana, just there. <laughs> 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 That's the far thing, the far part of the country that I travel. So <laughs> let me see. And the other guy, what is the name? You are Fatima, and the other one? My see. other name. Oh no, Jolman, Jolman. Ah. Jolman, are you there? Yes. Saul. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Hello, so, honey. How Can long you have you? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How you long? Uh, how long have you studied English? Uh, I have studied English uh, how, like like years, but different times in for the moment around seven. Uh, Seven months mm -hmm. for the moment, but in, in other occasion, in other times, in 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 past, more more months and yes, but okay, uh, for the moment, seven seven months, I remember. Okay. Okay. And the next question: What interesting foods have you eaten? For me or Erica? The question. <laughs> Actually, um, both. Both can answer. Ah. ah. Both. Oh. Fatima, you start because you have an answer yet. I um, I have uh, the the hamburgers. It um Italian food. Oh. Like pasta. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Got you. Okay. Uh -huh, everyone. I'm I'm not listening. You're talking. Yes, Jen. You finished the questions? No, no, teacher. Okay. We are not ready. Why not? Uh, I don't. I can hear it to Ivan. Oh, your microphone. Ah, I, I guess it's so. Okay, Ivan, do you have problems with the microphones? Can you turn it on? And I can see Jamie is here too. Hello, Jamie. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Oh, 
Okay, now I can see, Ivan, your microphone is on, but I cannot hear you. Yeah, I can see that you have issues with the microphone. Okay, let's do something. Um, I'm going to switch you, everyone, from different teams. So, Christian, I'm going to send you to another team, and Ivan and Jamie, too. Okay? So, you can participate with someone else. Okay, teacher. Very good. Right. I try of that. Okay. I, I remember just the travel. I don't remember like some I there is a place on Guatemala who is called the um I don't remember. It's a game game park. I don't remember, maybe less. Maybe remember another moment. Where do you where do you, where do you go where you went with your family? Where? where you went in Guatemala? Where where places you visit? I, where? I have I have visited El Cristo Negro. Mm -hmm. Yes, in in Shotulul. In Africa. Did you remember Shotulul and Shotumil? There uh, are two parks, Shotulul and Shotumil. I visited that working. After that, yes, this the same day when we went to the the, the to this park. Mm. I remember. Yes, but, but but just just was for a a short time. Mm. But is is no uh, the sushi is is I yeah the sushi oh yeah the sushi is crudo yes but I'm not uh -huh. remember how do you say crudo in English? <laughs> Teacher, help crudo. us. Mm -hmm, crudo. Crudo. Okay, like if you sushi. raw, raw. Um, I think that you can say raw, R-A-W, raw. Yes, yes. Raw. I'm, I'm sending it in the chat. Yes, the pronunciation is raw. Raw, yes. Raw. Raw. Okay. raw. Mm -hmm. Oh, raw. <laughs> the sushi is raw, yeah. Raw. It's like a raw material, no. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's like a raw material, yeah. Exactly. It's the same really? word. Oh, it's mm -hmm. the same. Yeah, it's the same. Oh. Mm -hmm. My my neuron is most intelligent today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me, I have to I have eat eaten um patata tortilla española. I don't know potato or Spanish food. No, I don't know. You know, you don't, you don't know that this uh, tortilla española, or you can no. explain the ingredients. Yeah, the ingredient is very easy. It's just potato, onion, and uh, olive oil and salt. That's it. <laughs> really? Yeah, but it's I, I like it. It's is is different taste. It's different. Uh, it's different. Uh, Taste, yeah, taste the, the 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 food that you 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 eat in 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 El Salvador, for example. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is is crunch? Is as a like a I don't it's, know. It's it's like a tortilla. It's like a, with egg. You 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 have to add egg because it's tortilla. It's like um I don't know like tortilla español. <laughs> Yeah. Lucy, can you repeat? It's like a crepa in, in, in Colombia. They have a, some kind of tortilla, but it's, but more, it's not more tough. No. It's, no, like, it's like, I don't crepa. know if it is like, like um, como una torta de huevo, but with yeah. potato. Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's a torta de huevo, but you add a potato. Potato okay. in the slices, you, you have to fry the potato in the slices, add to, you have to add um, onion, and then when you fry it, you put an, an egg, and then put again, and like a, 
do the make a tortilla <laughs> yeah. without cheese because our no, cheese is no cheese is oh. mm. no it's without cheese, cheese. it's just a potato onion, and onion egg and salt yeah oh. okay. <laughs> it's okay. delicious <laughs> I, uh, I, we can try I it think so. i think i think yeah. so Okay, the number four is how long have you had your current cell phone? Oh. How long? How long have you had your current device, cell phone? Device or number? Device. Device. Ah, cell yeah, phone. Device. device. Yeah, it's not number, it's device. Yeah, the current cell phone. I, uh, my, my cell phone have uh, maybe three years old and I'm happy with, with this because it's Redmi 8 have a good camera, but it's very old. It's very slow, but I, I am happy with this because it's cheaper and good. And functional. Yeah. It's functional. It's, yeah. It's, it's good, good, good work. It's functional yeah. for me. And I, 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 I like to take a, a lot of picture. And, uh, and, oh, and this wow. cell phone take a good picture. Oh, you have a I'm good camera you. and your cell phone. Yep. Oh. yep. Yeah, it's important now. <laughs> and, you, important. and you, Lucy, how long have you had your current cell phone? In my case, I have a Redmi 9 and I have two years, two years from two years from, from habit habits. And your case me in your in my, case? Yeah, in my in my case, I have two years, two years uh, uh, ago with my cell phone. Yeah, two years. I think that is not all, but it's not uh, the the new the new person, one. Person <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but, but... <laughs> <laughs> kind of kind of. But I and, want and... I want. Both. It's so beautiful. The uh, the. In in what it's in what is there? It's a uh, pool or what? What is there. If I remember good, it's like between Santana and Aguachupan. Mm. Let me see. Okay, it, it's near from, from here. I'm I sorry, live what? in Santana. I, I live, live in Santana. Santana. Yes. Nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Let me okay. see. Okay. Everyone, <laughs> sorry. Ah, a lot of very talkative. <laughs> okay, did you finish? I'm sorry, I work, I work in the call center, so I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Actually, it's good. I, I like when people talk a lot. Did you finish <laughs> all the questions? Yes. Yes? Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. well, um, stop the speaking practice. We need to go back to the main room, okay? okay. Let's okay. go back. Okay. Okay, time's up. Time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates. They are still on the breaking rooms. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. Okay, let's wait for them. Okay, time's up. Very good. Okay, I think that everybody, let's go back, let's go back. Okay, how was the practice? Easy, difficult, or 50 50? What do you think? So bad, so good. So far, so good. And the rest of you, everyone, how do you feel the speaking I practice? I feel 50 50. <laughs> 50 50. Okay. Uh huh. And the rest? 
interesting. Yeah, I was listening to some groups. Very talkative. Very good. That's the idea. <laughs> now, I know that some of you had some issues some of you with the connections, maybe with the microphone. So I hope that in the next practice, you don't have those issues. So, uh, and you can practice, of course. Now, did you listen to any Spanish word? Uh -huh. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No. No? <laughs> yeah, are, are you sure? <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. I, I, I help with the Spanish a lot. <laughs> okay, all right. So, it, remember that the idea, everyone, is try to avoid Spanish as much as possible. Okay, so very good job because you have active listening you were listening to the questions super good job i liked that um, you were talking a lot you were giving a lot of details that's super great too um super good job with the verbs i was listening the pronunciation right good job with that little details that you need to keep in mind with is the following for example if i say i like go hmm is this sentence correct i like go is that correct yes or no no maybe I'll, i like to go very good. Remember that we need to separate the verbs. So we have to say, I like to go or I like going, but you need to separate them. Exactly like here, I like it. Can I say that? I like eating. Very good. I like eating or I like to it. Now, this is Spanish. I was listening to this question in a lot of groups. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm, okay, but this question is in Spanish. How can I ask? This question I'm in Spanish? Say. Very good. How, you can say like, how do you say, right? For example, how do you say agua in English? How do you say crudo in English? All right. So Spanish, mm, let's try to avoid it. Another phrase in Spanish that I was listening uh, in some groups is, si no me equivoco, es, All right. <laughs> so how can I say this phrase in English? Any idea, everyone? I think the, uh, the word is. Very good. You can say, mm, I think, that's a good one. I think the word is. Da, 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 da. Or and maybe if I wasn't, if I wasn't wrong. Exactly. If I wasn't, it's in simple past. We can say it in present, but that is perfect. If I'm not wrong. Ah, if I'm not wrong, da 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 da. So for example, you can say, um, what is the past participle of the verb go? And you say, mm, if I'm not wrong, is gone. Okay, so if I'm not wrong, okay? So the idea everyone is try to avoid Spanish. Little by little, we will go and continue learning phrases that we can use. And according to vocabulary, I know that is difficult. There are so many words that we need to memorize, but don't worry, little by little. So my recommendation is, Every time that you see a new word, write it down, okay? 
Now, let's just stop thinking about the present perfect. Relax, everyone, stretch your arms, breathe. And now we will continue with another topic for today that is basically the vocabulary about product life cycle. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes, yeah. I can. Excellent. Okay. Um, I need a volunteer for reading this question, please. Could I try? Yes. What is a product or service that has recently been introduced to the market? Thank you. Uh -huh, everybody, can you name some product or services that are new in the market? Something new, something recently? Electric cars. Electric cars, yes, definitely. What else? Mm -hmm. Another new product or a new service that you have uh, seen? There, uh, there is a kind of uh, of of a product of Samsung is freestyle, I think. Okay, uh, what is that? It's, uh, 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 is like uh, in the in the wall the, the imagine in the in the wall is a project uh, uh, no, I, don't, I don't remember how can I say uh, project como proyectar una imagen something like that in the in the wall in in the wall is of as a new product. Ah, so you can share the screen on a wall. Like a movie, for example. Yes. The, ah. the product, the name. Interesting. Uh, yes, it's, it's new. Okay, interesting. That's good. Aha, uh -huh, everyone. What else? Another product that is new in the market or a service that is new for you? Teacher, uh -huh. I don't know if it's if, if correct to say panel, solar panel, solar, I don't know yes. what is that. Yes, panel, solar panels. Solar panels. Yes, actually that's a very, actually I like it. It's a new nice idea that is here in the country already. I like that. Actually, I don't know that in, in reality. I just, uh, I just uh, watched um, notice of that, that you, um, I, I love my mind. So. <laughs> no, but you know, in our country, it's already working. There are some companies that are offering that service. They install uh, the solar panels at home, if you want. So you can save some money for your electrical bill. So it's a nice idea. I have, heard, I have heard about that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Anyone else? Another product or new I, service? I I I seen a bicycle electric. Really? Really? Oh my god! Sounds good. Yes, of course. <laughs> I would like to have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's okay. like it's like a it's like a mo motocicleta. How do you say? Like a motorcycle. 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 But electric. It's similar or electric. Ah. Uh -huh. It's unfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's unfit motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. But yes. come on, we already established that we are unfit. <laughs> okay. But good. So why am I asking this? This is exactly what we are going to talk right now about products or services. And I have here some vocabulary. Everybody pay attention. The first word that we need to learn is buy out. 
buy out. Only the word buy, we already know what is the meaning for buy, right? So if we say buy out, what do you think? What is the meaning of that? When you buy um, food outside your home, for example, is not buy out? No. Not really. Look, the difference is that buy out is not a verb. It's basically the noun. What do you think? What will be the translation? Buy is Compr the verb. Comprar. So, ¿qué sería buy out? If it's a noun, it's compra. Exactly. So, we can say that it's una compra or adquisición. All right. So that is the meaning of buy out. Okay. Remember that is a noun. Now, branding. Hmm. What do you think? What is the meaning of branding? Publicidad. Publicity. Okay. What else? Um. Put up a brand. No product. Basically. Exactly. So when you name a product with a specific name or with a specific symbol or a logo, so that product can be identified between the other products. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of increase? When is something go up? Okay, exactly. You go out, right? And what is decrease? The opposite. <laughs> going <laughs> down, right? So increase, going up. Decrease, going down. Okay, saturation. Hmm. Uh, saturado. Exactly. Like full. For example, full. look at this train. <laughs> Do you think yeah, so the, the train, train? The, bus, the bus in the, the, in bus. the city, <laughs> in the town, in the street. Yeah. Yeah. The traffic. The, the, the traffic. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> the buses in saying? the morning. Definitely. So that is the meaning of saturation. Means, means, yes. But saturation is, is, is the... This the the meaning uh for example the pollution or the weather is saturation or not? Yes, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Basically, we can use saturation in different scenarios. It's very common to use saturations actually in the weather, or for example, talking about medicine, when we say, ah, this person has uh, some saturations about a specific cells or cholesterol or mm -hmm. things like that. So we can use this word in different scenarios. Today, Thank we you. are going to use saturation specifically talking about market products, okay? Are you, are you okay, talking you. about uh, a market, a warehouse, right? I understand yes. that. Mm -hmm. So we are going to learn to use these words talking about products okay is it clear the meaning of these words everyone just have a question a uh, saturation it's kind of synonym from um crowding mm, not only crowded but also full remember that saturation is not necessarily only talking about people okay okay mm -hmm. so it can mean yeah. crowded or full a lot okay okay gotcha gotcha very good everyone is it clear the vocabulary for me yes clear. yes okay if you have your manual we will go to the page nine okay we will be working on the page nine in the unit number one talking about the product life cycle we will learn four steps okay we have four steps
words. What these words mean? When we have a product, the product has a life cycle. It's for example, humans. Humans have life cycle. What is the first things? What is the first steps in humans life cycle? Born. 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 And then? Grow, grow up. Grow okay, up. we grow, grow we grow up, then? Not study. <laughs> work, study. <laughs> we study, we, we work, so we are adults. After being adults, what happens? Decline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we decline. We get older, right? And <laughs> just, teacher, just, just a question. Yes. In first class, I'm sorry. Um, where did I supposed to find the manual? Oh, the manual is, let me open, no worries. This is the platform. ¿Ya todos accesaron here a la plataforma? Yes. 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 Sure. Okay. Cuando ustedes entran a la plataforma, everyone, aquí donde dice section one, aquí es, estas son las tareas, oh. right? Pero el manual lo encuentran aquí. Student manual. Okay. You click in there and you can see the manual there. Okay. You can download it with this uh, arrow. And I will always say the page. For example, today we are in the page number nine. So you just need to uh, scroll down, scroll down, and here we are, page number nine. So you can see the manual okay. there. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thanks. Very good. You're welcome. Okay. Now, so we say humans declined, <laughs> and after <laughs> decline, <laughs> We go and With, uh, see God, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, we have the creator. <laughs> exactly. So, 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 it's <laughs> our final, no? <laughs> it's, it's the end. I don't know it's what the happens end. then, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. But basically, that is the life cycle. With a product, happens exactly the same. For example, some of you mentioned electric cars okay what happens what do we need to do first ah we need to introduce the product right so what happens then oh the product becomes famous so the product grows so then the product stays in the market for a while. So maturity. But what happens with the time? People got boring about, I mean, got bored about the product. They don't buy the product anymore. So what happens? Decline. Decline, Decline. right? And if you see that happens with all the products, just remember the iPod. Do you remember the iPod? Yes? Yes. yes. So, I remember, but I never yeah. used <laughs> Do, You don't use it anymore, right? So what is the stage of the iPod? Do you think that the iPods are in the introduction, growth, maturity, or in the decline? Decline. Decline. Decline, right? They are not attractive anymore. Okay. I remember. I remember Walkman. The Walkman, yes. Walkman or <laughs> Dixman. Dixman. Yes, exactly. Open the In, device. Introduce mm -hmm. the Dix. Correct. Music. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. We, we are old. We are, are very old. old. I'm not too old. <laughs> I'm not too old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I am because I had one. <laughs> this was yesterday. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Exactly. You lost your junk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Imagine everyone. I think that we are in the maturity stage already. Yeah. So yes, we are ready. <laughs> so that is what we are going to be talking right now. Okay. 
So remember, the product life cycle has different steps, okay? The first one is introduction, then we have growth, maturity, and the decline. Now, we already understand what is the meaning of these words, but let's find out the definitions, okay? So look at these pages. Here I have the definitions of the stages of the product life cycle. I want you to match them to the appropriate phrase. For example, look at the first one. The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop and ta da 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 So I want you to think what will be the correct one, okay? I will give you some minutes let me open here so you can see it bigger. Remember, we are in the page number nine. So I will give you some minutes to complete it, please. Match the definitions with the correct word. For example, ah, if you think that the number one is, for example, I don't know, maturity, okay, match it. If you think, no, I think that is growth, okay, match it. That is exactly what I want you to do, okay? I will give you some minutes, please. Read carefully the definitions and choose the correct answers. If there is a word that you don't understand, just let me know. Go ahead. Teacher, I don't understand the use of buying out in the first paragraph. Okay. They said, they said buying out competitors or selling it to another producer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember that buying out is like a noun. Okay. So basically it's saying that the sales stop and the producers start making decisions about discontinuing the product. So... They are thinking, mm, están tomando la decisión de ya no continuar con el producto, con las compras de los competitors, o con las ventas, right, de another producer. That's the idea in that sentence. Is it okay. clear? Yes. It's clear. Thank you. Good. If you have questions, everyone, tell me, please. And the second paragraph's efforts and marketing efforts. Mm -hmm. Efforts, when you do a lot of exercise, you uh -huh. are doing yeah. efforts. So that is the meaning mm -hmm. for that. So okay. basically, los esfuerzos que hace el marketing. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a question, please let me know. Try to match the definitions. Teacher, I don't remember the meaning of awareness. 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 Quality and awareness. Uh -huh, everyone. Anyone, do you remember that word? When you have a lot of... Um, um, awareness is when you have a lot of... Um, Complaints, like a complaint or, mm, or... Basically, a no, a awareness is when you have a lot of knowledge or like you are conscious, como que tienen conciencia, right? De que hay ese producto. So you know that product. That is the meaning of awareness. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So everyone, remember every new word, write it down in your notebooks and practice, memorize it. If you have questions, please let me know. Let me know when you finish. Do you finish, everyone? Uh -huh. Ready or not yet? Me, I, I finished. Okay, excellent. There is a few, everyone. You ready? Yes. Yes? All right, before checking the answers to see what the correct answers are, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So remember everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Let's see, Carlos eh, Elibaldo Abrego. Abrego? Present. Thank you. Christian Alexander Arevalo. Present teacher. All right. Erika Yasmin Martinez. Present. Very good. Fátima Denise Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriel Beltrán. Present teacher. Okay. Let's see, Héctor Francisco. Present teacher. Okay. Isabel Hernández. Present miss. All right. Um, Ivan Petrovich Guzmán. Present. Thank you, Jamie Raquel. Present. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jol Jolman, is that the pronunciation of your name? Hol. Holman. Okay, thank you. Hol. Holman Saul. Present. Thank you. Lucy Natalie. Present, present teacher. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Present, present. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Oscar Armando. All right. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Okay. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue. So now let's analyze the correct answers. So I need a volunteer for reading the first paragraph. Please, who wants to read? Teacher, my yes. teacher. Go ahead, please. Uh, Stop, sorry, sorry. Let me do it bigger. Let me try to do it bigger. Oops, I think that that's the biggest one. Okay, can you read the number one, please? Go ahead.
The product is no longer attractive for many customers. Sales stop, and the producers start making the decision about discontinuing the product, buying our competitors, or selling it to another producer. Producer, very good. Aha, uh -huh, everyone, what do you think? What is this? Is anything maturity, Fine. growth, decline? Decline? To me, it's decline. Okay. For me, and for me to decline. Yes, actually, mm -hmm. that is the correct one. Very good. Declined. So remember, here, the product is no longer attractive. Okay. Very good. For example, the iPod. The iPod mm, is no longer attractive. Okay. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number two. Only one, please. Yes, go ahead. At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of product may, uh, might be low and marketing effort try to develop branding. Quality and awareness, awareness, awareness? Of, the, awareness of the new product to innovators. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. What do you think? What is that? Introduction. Market. Market, market, market introduction. Market introduction. Market All right. Introduction. Excellent job. Very good. Very good. Okay. Volunteer for reading the number three. Let me try. Can uh -huh. I? Yes, please. Okay. The growth in sale decreases because there are many competitors market saturation occurs, the marketing efforts work to differentiate the product and prices might be lower than in the previous stage. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. What is that? Maturity. Maturity. Maturity? Yes. 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 Nice. Very, com very good confrontation. Okay. The, uh, the last one, please. Volunteer for reading. New teacher. Yes. The new product registers an increase in demand because more custom customers accept accept it. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. Very good. So what is that one? The growth. Very growth. good. That's growth. growth. Yeah. Excellent. So what you need to remember when we are talking about the life cycle of a product, just remember we have four stages, okay? Marketing introduction, that is when we start. Then we have growth, maturity, and the decline. Can you tell me a product? For example, at the beginning of the class, we talk about some products that they are in the introduction steps. Now, can you tell me a product that is in the growth stage? That is a product that, oh, wow, is new and everybody wants to get it. So can you tell me a product that is in the growth stage? What do you think? Uh -huh. I, think I think I have one. Uh, have you ever heard about the uh, eSIM? It's like a sim, virtual SIM card. So oh. the SIM card or the chip. Yeah, you know, I was listening to it. Yes, you cannot touch it. That's in the hardware and the phone. Very good. You can, you can connect it with whatever company you want. Nice. So imagine that is maybe in the growth stage. Very good. Now tell me a product that is declining nowadays uh -huh. the cell phone that has a keys mm, very good mm -hmm. totally imagine we don't use those type of cell phones anymore nowadays everybody got 
Smartphones, great job. So is it clear everyone, the product life cycle? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Questions, everyone? Okay, I hope you remember this topic tomorrow because tomorrow I will ask you. A question for me. <laughs> Very good. Okay, unfortunately. Ask me, ask me. Ah, I will, Ivan. You will be the first one. <laughs> okay, everyone, uh, we don't have more time. So before leaving, just a reminder you can start working on the platform. Okay, so let's go and complete the first homework. Remember, Every week you have to finish before Friday, okay? So you are in the section number one. The first question is about the product life cycle. That is exactly what we studied today. So don't forget to do it. If you have issues with the platforms, always let me know. Now, Carlos Abrego, are you there? Yes? Carlos, are you there? Okay, I cannot listen to Carlos. So, Christian, Christian, are you there? Yes. yes. Okay, so Christian es el ganador de hoy. <laughs> Así <Yeah>. que Christian <laughs> se tiene que quedar un par de minutitos más. Los demás, you can go and relax and see you tomorrow, everyone. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you night. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you. Goodbye, goodbye. Only Christian stays. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, everyone. Solo Christian se queda, please. Good night, good night. Okay, <laughs> veo que algunos no se quieren ir. Um, good night, everyone. Okay, eh, nos quedamos acá con ellos, Christian, o nos vamos a un breaking room, como usted prefiera. Está bien, sí. Okay, perfect. So, Christian, esta pequeña meeting is just to uh, answer some questions that you may have, not only about the class, but maybe about the platform or about the program. So, this is yeah. like your moment. <laughs> okay. No, uh, right now, I, I, for the moment, I, I think that I don't have more, some questions, but I am using the platform. I used the platform before in the last course, and it's it's easy to use. And the program is good for me. This is a, a good program program to learn English. And the most important for me is to practice the English because it's I forgot all words. My vocabulary is these words, but. I'm trying to 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 learn again. Yeah. But that's good. And learn some new words. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So remember that uh, every new word that you see, try to write it down so you can memorize it. There is an yeah. app actually. Uh, let me see. Uh, I always recommend this app. And let's see, let's see. I don't know if you have ever seen it, but this app is very useful if you want to learn the, a vocabulary. Let me share the screen. I don't know if, can you see what I'm sharing? Uh, yes. Okay, this is the app, vocabulary, uh, like mm -hmm. learn English vocabulary. You can, uh, um. You can find it in, in the Play Store or in the App Store. So it's very nice actually because um, there are different topics. For example, if you want to learn vocabulary mm -hmm. about food, about professions, about human's body, about verbs, everything. And mm -hmm. 
you can see the word, you can listen to the pronunciation. And the best thing is that you will have exams. <laughs> so okay. you can, if you say, ah, I already learned these words. Okay, so let's have an exam to see if you learn them. And you have mm -hmm. listening, writing, and speaking exam. So if you want to learn vocabulary, this is a very nice app to do it. I totally recommend it. Okay, thanks. I, I'm going to, don't worry. Okay. To start to learn. Yes, it's a very yes. useful app. Good. Now, if you don't have questions, I'm going to ask you. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, very this good. Is a, I don't know, it's a, a comment. Uh -huh. uh, the Tuesday I'm going to start, uh, going to join the, the classes, uh, almost eight past 15. Only or, on Tuesdays or Thursdays? Uh, Tuesday. Okay, every Tuesday? Yes. Tomorrow, yes, because I, I come to almost eight past 15 to my house. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. I, 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 oh, I, start, I put on, I, I joined the class in the, uh, how would I have to say in the, in, in, in El Camino. Okay. So like a listener, uh, when yes. you are coming, when you arrive at home, you yes, yes. turn on the camera and start participating. Okay, okay. Yeah, yes. no problem. Uh, in the first five, 15 minutes, I'm going to stay just a uh, listener. Mm -hmm. Perfect, mm -hmm. no problem at all. Only on uh, Tuesday, you say? Tuesday, yes. Perfect, yeah, no worries. Okay, okay. let's see, Christian, let's see. How long have you had your current cell phone? Uh, I have my current, I have my current cell phone. No, I, I'm going to say the current phone. <laughs> I have have my current cell phone for two years. Two years, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And have you ever seen a ghost? No, I haven't seen a ghost. Would you like it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, <laughs> Do I you... think that I am, I am uh, how I have to say, miedoso. Uh, scary? How I can say, scary, yes, okay. I am scary. Uh -huh. Do you, do you, so you don't want to, to see a ghost? No, I don't like the uh, <laughs> ghost movies. Ah, you uh, don't like that? No. <laughs> All right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, where have you traveled? I have traveled to, I have traveled to Guatemala City. Mm, okay. Two times. Two times. Twice. Two, twice, twice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only Guatemala? And yes, to other countries, yes. Guatemala and here in El Salvador some uh, place like uh, Volcán de Santa Ana. Okay, Santa Ana you volcano. Uh-huh. Okay. And some pools and beach. But it's not uh, uh it's not common I want to say that I don't do it uh, a lot so of often? time in the year. Like so often. Uh -huh, so often. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. nice, very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, Christian, super good job. Uh, I like that you are trying. I know that we need to try to work in organizing our ideas in uh, the yes. moment to talk, but don't worry because in this level, we are going to uh, try to have a lot of speaking practice, okay? okay. Don't be afraid to participate. Here we can make mistakes, no worries, but the idea is to practice, all right? Okay, okay. Nice. Right. Okay, Christian, do you have any other question or comments before leaving? No, no, I am good. Excellent. Okay, Christian, so it's nice to meet you and see you tomorrow.
Me too. Okay. Good Thank night. You. See, See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye.